Hi viewers, in today's session, we will be creating add to cart component. The session will be full on coding, so keep your next 10 to 12 minutes to code with me. As you can notice, add to cart button here, when you click it, item added to the cart and button change to view in cart. You can also notice we have a quantity drop down where you can select the number, add that much items into the cart. So we are going to build this component which will have quantity drop down, view in cart and add to cart buttons. First we will build add to cart component. Next we will consume is item exist in cart selector. Finally we will use add to cart component in products module. By the end of this course you will see once item is added into the cart, then add to cart button will be turned into view in cart button. Let's review our overall architecture for this session. We have add to cart button in products module. Our goal is to remove this add to cart button and create add to cart component in the shared module, which will have add to cart button and view in cart button that will be toggled based on the item status in the cart. Next import the shared module into the products module and finally add to cart component will be used in the products component. Let's go and bring the VS code and code along with me. If you notice products.component.ts then here we have add item to cart button. Our goal is to replace this button with add to cart component. We will go to the shared module cart folder and create add to cart component. Let's use angular CLI and type ng space g space c space shared slash cart slash add to cart and now here we have to skip the test so we will say hyphen hyphen skip test is equals to true. This will skip the test file and it will create the component. So this will create the desired component for us and it will declare this component in the shared module as well. Hi viewers, it's me Rupesh and I appreciate that you want to learn MinJS seriously. So I want to congratulate you first for your determination. If you want to learn more from me, I highly encourage you to enroll my JavaScript courses in Fullstack Master School. You can watch this entire course and many JavaScript in-depth courses as many times as you want. You can watch your favorite courses online or offline. Mobile, iOS app and Android phone for on-the-go learning. The course comes with plenty of hands-on coding and many interview questions answer with practical industry standard solution. In case you are interested, the link is in the video description below. Have a great day and I am very excited to teach you in Full Stack Master School. See you there. Hit our website and notice quantity and cart count. They both are correct. So let's go ahead and click the add to cart button. Notice it changed to view in cart button. Also notice our cart count is keep changing as I am adding items into the cart. In our next session, we will build the cart page. If you go to our complete application, then notice when you click on view in cart button, then it will take you to the cart page and where you can submit your order. Next, we will build this page. So stay tuned and I will see you in my next video. Till then, happy coding and be happy.